today the diver is uh, supplied by air. Down, you can see down this fence way here, um, a very large cylinder. Um, so all the compressed air is in that in that bottle, and it'll be fed through a, an umbilical airline to the diver uh, whilst he's below. In the old days they had hand pumps, of course, and they needed quite a few men to keep operating the hand pumps because it's tiring work. And often the diver could be down for an hour, hour and a half, some of them two hours. I guess it just depends on how long your bladder can hang out. The course of it, which is, this is the piece that uh, attaches the rubber ring around the top of the dry suit to the course of it. And then the helmet uh, fits on top of that. So you end up with a, a dry diver inside. Slow operation, and, and, uh, which is why most of the old time divers used to spend as much time as they could on the bottom getting their job done because um, getting in and out on the surface is a slow job. A lot of amazing work was done by each diver since these old helmets up until about 1980. Uh, were able to um, manoeuvre themselves quite easily underwater. They often used a, a long rope. Uh, from the boat to the bottom so that they, they had a, uh, a form of getting back to the surface. The idea with the rope, it usually had a big weight on the bottom of it and uh, the diver basically slid up and down the, the rope like a fireman would on the, on the, the fireman's pole. Um, he just inflate the suit and he could rise up. Naturally he had to come up very slowly. Uh, a lot of the work they did here of course in Tasmania because the island has uh, got so many little ports they built a lot of the jetties here. Uh, probably most of the infrastructure here in Hobart would have been done uh, uh, by a gentleman like uh, Phil there in that uh, standard dress. Okay, we, we stand the diver. He'll need a, a help. So all up the diver's got about 80 to 90 kilos of, of gear on. It's quite heavy. This is the worst part of the trip in and out of the water, but once he's in the water, uh, he can regulate the air in his suit and he uh, becomes very, very manoeuvrable. And all that weight disappears. Uh, goodbye, bye, diver. Bye, bye. No, we haven't lost a diver for a while. Now, this helmet's being used uh, after Restoration's 1943 American helmet. Made during the Second World War, they made a lot of them because there were a lot of ships to uh, to salvage after the war and during the war. More farewells of Dame Nellie Melvin, I might add. <laughs> now the idea is he's going to walk behind me here up to uh, up to the landing on the other side of the little harbour and, uh, and see, pop out of the water and scare a few people there, and then he'll be back. A photograph of the dive, we can arrange that.